Hello, N5BSB here today. A little updated video on the real potable antenna operation and fine tuning. Nice cool day here in the backyard. Got plenty of shade. Temperatures in the low to mid 90s. So figured I'd get out here and uh, make use of the cooler weather. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's uh, what I have set up here in the backyard. This is the real potable antenna, in-fed half-wave, high-vis red wire. It's in a sloper configuration and probably be kind of hard to see with the sun. I'm going to try to point. It's going up to this tree right here. And... I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you a little bit on the Nano VNA. Right now, this is just about the way you will get it fully unwound. And I'm gonna show you what you can expect. Okay, this is 10 meters at uh, 28 megahertz. 1.0 to 1.1 at 50 ohms and it's purposely left a little bit long so that you can reel it in for anywhere in the 10 meter band that you need to go okay without changing anything right now we're at the very bottom 14 megahertz we're at 50 ohms 1.1 swr at the top we're at 1.6, close to 1.7. So what I'm gonna do without changing anything is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna reel the antenna in about four or five turns. Usually about four turns. That's one, two, three, four. And we're going to latch it. So that's four turns right there. So now our resonant point is still a little bit low. We could bring it down a little bit more probably. It's still good uh, at the high end. It's about 1.3 something. I'm going to give it one more turn. I think uh, four turns is good because it gives you a little bit better on uh, 15 meters. But we're going we're gonna to crank it up one more turn. Okay, that's a lot better there. We're at 1.0 SWR at uh, 48.1 ohms and pretty much 1.2 or lower across the entire band. So we do this on the fly. Let's go to 15 meters. So here we are on 15 meters, 1.2 or less across the entire band. If we rolled it back one at the four, your dip would be right in the, in the very middle of the band. Uh, still excellent if we go look at 10 meters with it reeled in five turns uh, still still very good I mean it's uh, our resonant point four 
50 ohms at around 28310 1.1 and we could reel in that upper end another couple of turns and we could get it pretty much flat across the whole band from 28 to 29 so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna reel it in and we'll show you 40 meters probably gonna require about five more turns and it will bring in right now it'll be resonant pretty much down in the, the FT8 CW portion let's go to seven to seven point three so right now at the very top of 40 meters is 1.6 which is not which is not terrible but let's go down to the bottom and we're about 1 point, 1 1.2 down at uh, at the bottom so yeah 1.2 to 1.3 something like that so if we crank it in a few turns it'll flatten that out across the entire band be right back okay we're about uh we added about six more turns so that'd be a total of about 11 turns from being all the way out at the very top we're at uh yeah, 7.3 we're at uh, 1.4 and at the very bottom we're at 1.2 so 1.2 to 1.4 the entire 40 meter band anyway i hope this helps somebody that's uh, setting up their new real potable infed half wave antenna and once again this is n5bsb from out here in my backyard i'm fixing to hook up my radio and do a little bit of uh, ft8 or something i may do another video here i add on to this one Catch you later. Okay, N5BSB back. I thought I'd jump in here and do a quick video. I'm just going to uh, band hop between each of the bands on FT8 and show you what kind of real world SWR we're getting on, on each band. This is with uh, five turns cranked in. So on 10 meters, uh, it's not right at the bottom, but I'll show you. So let's just hit the tune button here. I'll uh, show you just so you know I'm hitting the tune button. About 1.2. And I think uh, the power right now, I believe, is set for about 35 watts. I may have to go back and uh, double check that, but I believe it's 35 watts. So, all right, I unkeyed. Let's go over here to uh, 15 meters. And you will again hit the tune button. Flat, 1.1. Stop it. Let's go to 20 meters. So 20 meters, flat, all right, let's go to 40 meters, and remember, normally for 40 meters to get the whole band, you would reel it in, you know, a few more times, but this is just with five turns in from being all the way out well, it's flat down at the bottom end so we got all f four bands on the FT8 without any problems I'm going to continue to have some fun here in the backyard Thanks, everybody, for watching. We do have uh, more antennas in stock as of today. You can find them 
at www.real, R-E-E-L, E-F-H-W dot com. 73. All right, the sun is starting to get in my eyes here. But before I quit for the day, I just want to show you that if you do have a good tuner, it is possible. You can see I've got it on FT8 portion. And... I've got my little uh, portable tuner here set up. We're going to click the, uh, the tune button. And it'll tune it 17 meters. And I believe it will also will tune 80. So let's just let's just go find out. Trying to get the glare off. One point zero to one point one on eighty meters. All right, that was it for today. 73, everybody. See you next time.